today we will discuss about how the ecm uh, dependent mechano transduction leads to the intercellular changes or uh, what are the uh, changes that occurs within the cells that leads to its change from completely uh, this mes uh, epithelial characteristics to the mesomical characteristics and how the different kind of rigidity affects cells in a different way so 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 far we have discussed how uh, what are the changes occurs in different kind of cells because of the change in the composition of the ecm but how those changes happens we will cover in brief in this video so let's start with this uh, soft ecm or uh, here it is called as deformable ecm so this deformable ecm uh, will not be able to uh, properly interact with this integrins or uh, make a or make a bond uh, with this integrins so there are therefore the it, the interactions between this integrin and the deformable ecm is very weak and because of that what will happen is that the integrin it will promote the endocytosis of this integrins and that will and uh, that will cause its uh, degradations thereafter when it is uh, within the cytosols of the cells and also this yap test pathways are not form a complex and they will not lead to any epigenetic changes and the cytoskeletons will also uh, remains in a non rearranged form so here uh, there is no significant changes that we have observed when the cells are under uh, soft ecm or the deformable ecm however when the cells are under non deformable ecm or the matrix rigidity increases we can see that the integrins can form a bond integrins can form a bond with uh, non deformable ecm or the extracellular matrix that that will trigger mechano transduction forces uh, within the cells and uh, for example this vincin uh, vinsulin interacts with this uh, intercellular uh, part of this integrins and uh, also this src and fak form a complex that will leads to the uh, polymerizations of this cytoskeleton or affectins at the same time it will also uh, leads to this yap test complex formations and this yap test complex will then uh, move into the nucleus and uh, upregulates the genes that will promote uh, mt transition or uh, this mesomicals to epithelial transitions so that cells can acquire uh, uh, mesomicals characteristics and uh, mesomicals characteristics and then uh, can move and can move from one place to another place at the same time uh, the, not only the integrins but also the glycocalyx and uh, syndicates also uh, interact with this non deformable ecm and trigger the mechano transduction forces uh, for example this uh, glycocalyx can trigger this row a pathway parallelly to this uh, ectomyce to this uh, uh, affecting polymerizations formations at the, and it, this uh, pathway will uh, promote this row a pathway will promote uh, this rock and thereafter this mlc formations that will support uh, this affecting polymerizations formations and apart from this the, the cd c42 and rac uh, reactions will promote this p13 uh, k or akt pathway and that will leads to the uh, or main function of this signaling pathways is to helps the cells in proliferation survival and invasions and the cells which are at and this rac1 and cdc42 has one more function that is uh, when they are at the leading edge uh, it will helps the membrane protrusion it will helps the membrane protrusions or we can say that membranes to deform in a way that can uh, help the cells to move in in uh, this direction to move in this directions or this force drive maturations the cells that are in the leading edge will have different kind of cellular changes compared to the cells that are in the uh, uh, back end so this is uh, a brief overview what are the cellular changes that might occurs within the cells and how this epigenetic changes will also uh, leads to the cells to acquire its the mesomicals uh, characteristics 
or the epithelial characteristics here in this case we will promote met that is mesomicals to epithelial uh, transitions however the cells which are at the uh, leading edge uh, will have some different intercellular changes that will promote epithelial to mesomical transition as the mesomical cells has the uh, characteristics to move from one place to another the, another state whereas epithelial cells has the characteristics to uh, stay at a uh, particular place so i hope you got a basic idea what are the intercellular changes that occurs uh, depending on the ecm stiffness and if you need to understand more about uh, their interactions and intercellular changes in detail you can go through the reference that has been provided in the descriptions description so that's all for this video thank you for your time